everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're doing something we haven't reviewed, or a ship from a series we haven't reviewed in a very long time. This, as you can guess by the title, is the Halo Pelican, the famous dropship from the Halo franchise, seen from games from Halo Wars up until Halo... I believe. Because it was, uh, they changed it in Halo 4 and 5, that's a newer version of the Pelican. But this is the original Pelican, the like original one. Why I say this? Because I don't like the new ones. The original ones are a lot better. Just the shape of them. Anyway, this is the D-77-TC, I think it sounds like a troop carrier, a uh, Pelican dropship. So you saw these all the time in Halo, from Halo 1 to Halo 2 to Halo 3. Example, I think Halo 3, one of them was shot down, stuff like that. They get shot down quite a lot. But for detail, this build is by Mr. Evan312, and you've probably heard of him before. He's done quite a few, a lot of like cinematic shots or cinematic movies of Space Engineers on YouTube. And his cinematics are very good. If you haven't checked him out, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below so you can go check him out. They are amazing. Another thing to mention is he does build a lot of Halo stuff. He seems to be a massive fan of the Halo franchise, and it's glad we've got some people like that in the um, Space Engineers community because it's always good seeing Halo creations. Now, he has built a lot of Covenant ships, but at the same time his UNSC builds, although modded, are brilliant. That is one thing I should point out. This Pelican build is modded, so that is one thing to watch out. And I don't mind modded builds, as long as they're practical. Lucky this one is, because it still uses some vanilla stuff. But look at this, this is just like the original cockpit. Amazing. Then coming through here we have a troop transport section. One thing I would have liked to have seen is lights in here, because you can have it go from green to red in Halo I believe. Red is um, deploy, I think, green standby, I think. I can't remember if they did have lights in them, but oh well. And obviously this has the capacity to carry six troops and two pilots. Or, I think one pilot and one gunner. But yeah, that is the Pelican. Um, the outer sphere, we have these missile pods here. I don't know what these are called, so I'll tell you in a minute. Connector up here, so it can eventually connect to the mothership. An antenna. Up here it also has some cargo containers, or conveyor blocks, sorry. I don't know what they're actually meant to emulate, to be honest. Now here, although these parts don't move, they look like they're meant to, which is a really good thing. So instead of actually trying to make them move, he's just basically emulated it really. They don't move, but they almost look like they should, which is a good thing really, I like that. I mean, having moving parts in this would be very complex, I think. Now here's maglock surfaces. Now I'm going to experiment with these later, trying to pick up our warfog. Hopefully it'll work. And there's also one on the bottom keeping us attached. So if we hop into F6 mode, F6 and go around and get in here take off, oh we need to turn the power on first well hey there we go now we need to slowly position ourselves to pick up this troop transport here now this is another Mr. Evans build, it's a Warthog, a Warthog troop transport which I believe was seen in well, I think it was first seen in Halo 3 then it was seen in Reach can this lock now? oh I've locked myself to the ground Oh. There we go. Managed to <laughs> unhook it. And obviously that doesn't look like realistic, but let's be honest, it's the closest you're gonna get. And I believe if we're going along here, we should be able to just drop it. Okay, well theoretically it should have just rolled on, to be honest. In some builds it would just roll on, but you know, you get for general DS. Now the other thing there is there is also this cockpit view is really nice. I feel like it should be a bit wider, but you know, can't have everything. There's this scorpion tank. Now you all remember the scorpion tanks from the games. They're these badass tanks you could roll through and blow anything up with. Amazing, am I right? So if we come in here, and sadly the weapon isn't attached to this, because I don't have the right mod, and I couldn't be asked to get it, and we've almost parked on the wrong place. But if we come here, oh, nope. So if we just gently position ourselves here and lock. Oh no, I've taken a camera with me. I think if we... There we go, I've got it. Now, it did break when I placed it down, but... This one it kind of struggles with because it's a lot heavier, but I think if we turn on these boosts, there we go, we've got a lot more boosts now. I don't know if this thing can go into space, I've not tested that yet. And I'm not going to test it here because it would take too long. But I believe it can, because it's got these different type of thrusters. And I believe these are the... what's these? We've got extra ones for boost, so we can have boost to carry this thing around, and of course we can land over here. Let's turn these two off a minute. I don't know what the gravity drive does. I think that's for space, isn't it? Yeah. So if we bring her down and drop, that was a bit high to be honest. 
Oh, it's going to bounce back up. But I thought this is the most realistic, like, pelican and working pelican we've seen in a workshop for ages. Although there are vanilla ones out there, which incorpor incorporate landing gears and stuff like that, and merge blocks, they're good, but I really prefer this one. It is a lot better. And weapon systems, that's another thing. You've got your main Gatling gun on there. Oh, actually, we can probably just test it on this. There we go, let's test it on this. Look at that, ripping it to shreds. Also, we have guided missiles. Look at that. Guided. And I think if I turn and aim that one over there. This mod is amazing. I definitely recommend you check out this mod. I don't know who it's by. But it, when you go to a workshop page of this, you can download it. Look, I think if I aim above it here, so if I aim above it, it's going to yeah arc down. Or two of them arc down. And they all arc into critical points. Which is really good. And they're not too overkill at the same time. And also they have like a delay in between them. This is not a mod view, this is simply just displaying that one. But you get this, this is a very powerful ship. Now, it says the D77-TC uh, Pelican Dropship is an aircraft classification used by the UNSC Navy. It's best suited to troop deployment and the movement of heavy equipment, which you can see. The Pelican has been the UNSC's heavy lifter for a long time, and for good reason. This dropship can form each when in space or in planets. Has one of six passengers, a pilot, and has magnetic locks, so li airlifting warhog jeeps and even scorpion tanks. The Pelican can also provide air support with a, no a nose-mounted chain gun and a number of heavy rocket launchers. Examples. Oh. It just blew a hole in the... Blew a hole in the landing pad. That was weird. There we go. Maximised firepower. See? P.S. Uh, one thing is for vanilla weapon rebalances on this, but this is just to make sure the Gatling fires more, apparently. Uh, apparently it's a rapid transport and deployment, but may not hold up against anti-air fire. So one thing I did test is if it doesn't do that well against anti-air, it can take a few shots, like a few missile ones. However, one shot, I believe, to the cockpit might kill it, if one well-placed shot. So if we... I wonder how it survives against a crash landing. So you guys love seeing me do crash landings in this, so let's test that theory. Let's, um... Because pelicans were always seen crashing in Halo. Let's... Where's the tank gone, I wonder? Where did I drop the tank? I thought the tank was around here. Where did that go? I must have... They're not going to lock on to anything. There it is, it's hidden there. Can this lock on from... It can. So these lock on, that's a bit of a cheaty way, really. Fire through the trees. Are oh, three of them locked on? Oh, and only one. Oh, we're testing crashing, well, we're not trying to blow up a tank. So let's test how well we stars in a crash. Um, let's bring it down the ice field here. So this is going under manual control now, dampeners are off. So if this starts to drop too far like it's doing now, I need to like persuade it to move around a bit more. It's kind of hoping to hit a rock to be honest, but you know. Oh, nope, tilt up, tilt up. Ooh. Question is, do we still have any control? No, we've shot the reactors out. Ah, so, so it seems one... <laughs> I'm actually trapped in this now. Can we just break out the window? How do I... <laughs> I need to get out. There we go. <laughs> Let's get out of the ship. This is like... It took a lot of damage there, but that may be salvageable if I deleted the windows. It might be salvageable, to be honest. Possibility. I want to do a drop test. Oh, that's not the right one. Um, let's leave a drop test. We'll do it for another time. Anyway, guys, you kind of get the gist of the Pelican. I mean, if I had one to paste back down, it'd be good. Uh, D... Nope, the blueprints for the first one. D77, Pelican dropship. And just when even pacing in, it looks brilliant. So there we go. That is a Pelican dropship. I do hope you guys enjoyed this review. It has been a pretty short one, a fast one. But I am still amazed by how good this thing is really, to be honest. I'm a bit fanboying over it really, but Mr. Evans really done a superb job on this. And I hope he continues releasing amazing creations like this. Because I'll be using this in a few battles soon. Especially land battles with uh, UNC equipment. And I hope to include this build and many of his like the um, tank as well as the Warfog, because they're amazing. Anyway guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, Comment what your favourite bit about the video was, or any other things you want me to include. Um, I think that's it. And yeah, well done to Mr. Evan three one two for building this amazing ship. You truly have amazed me, and I'll probably be using this in battles and stuff soon. 
Um, uh, yeah, that's kind of it to be honest. Is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Yeah. Good day, people.